G'day, my name is Rod Sherwin from Tap for Health. When people first come across the Emotional Freedom Techniques or EFT, it can seem a bit complex, even though it has been simplified down from a number of different techniques over the years. First you've got to do this weird tapping on different points, then you've got to come up with some words to say while you tap, and you've got to think of the words and think of your feeling while you tap, and it can all get a bit complex. So in this video, I just want to help you using tapping to actually get rid of the, the stress and the anxiety about what to say while you tap. It's a, it's a frequently asked question is, what words do I say if I'm feeling depressed? What words do I say if I'm feeling angry? And especially when you see so many good videos on the internet with people saying all these amazing phrases and people then go, well I can't do it because I can't come up with the right words. And as soon as you hear yourself saying something like that, like coming up with the right words, who decides what words are right? How do you know they're the right words? And one of the things I absolutely love about EFT is that whatever you do is the right thing. It's very, very, very hard. In fact, I've never figured out how to do it wrong. As long as you are tuned in and focused on the emotional issue that you want to work with, uh, you're doing it right. So we're going to do a couple of rounds of tapping now to get rid of the fear of saying the wrong thing or, try, or the frustration and the, the resistance because you have to figure out the right thing to say. So we're going to start tapping on that karate chop point on the side of the hand and I like to tap them both together like this and I'll get you to repeat after me. Even though I think I have to say the perfect words because otherwise EFT won't work and if I say one little word wrong it'll completely fail. I choose to acknowledge myself and my desire to do a good job. Even though I'm afraid of saying the wrong thing. What if I make things worse? I choose to accept myself. Even though I think I have to come up with the most perfect phrases so that EFT will work perfectly and I'll solve all my problems instantly with a magic wand I choose to be gentle and forgiving of myself, giving myself permission to heal at a rate that's right for me. Come up to the top of the head, tapping there. So this fear of saying the wrong thing. Come down the eyebrows, this fear of saying the wrong thing. This fear of somehow doing EFT wrong. Thinking I have to come up with the perfect words. This fear of doing EFT wrong. All this remaining anxiety about doing EFT wrong. Feel like I have to do everything perfectly. the way this shows up in other areas of my life. Fear of saying the wrong thing when doing EFT. What if I say the wrong thing and it works anyway? Am I allowed to do it wrong and have it work? wonder what words I need to describe how I'm feeling about this issue. Whatever the right words are for me are the ones that describe how I'm feeling. I don't have to figure it all out before I start tapping. I can just start tapping and allow whatever words need to come out to come out. <laughs> As I continue to tap and my confidence grows, I choose to feel even more freedom 
in the way I express myself. All this remaining fear of saying the wrong thing. Letting EFT do its work. I can get myself out of the road and allow EFT to achieve the emotional freedom that I desire. Now you might continue on and do a few other different aspects about having to say the right thing, having to say it in the right order. And this will be a good practice of just saying whatever it is for you specifically about this issue. You can see that I do it in a very free form way. And it's, it's kind of the way that you learn anything where you learn the rules to start with and then you can break all the rules. So enjoy experimenting with saying whatever it is that you need to say to tune into the issue and let EFT do the healing for you. And I like for, look forward to hearing from you in the comments on this page about how you were able to express yourself, about how you got rid of this fear and what other issues you've been able to clear now that you can express yourself saying whatever you want to say while doing EFT.